Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, it's gonna be something a little different. You just about to see that. One and a half degrees. We're gonna get the downhill rig out for a change and let's go shred the knot. Oi, oi. Look at this thing. It's just been a wall ornament all year pretty much. Oh, we've probably ridden it five times, bless her. So we're gonna see what it's all about. Admittedly, I had to bleed the brakes this morning because it has just been left stagnant. Let's get changed, head on up the hill. I'm gonna stick with wearing jeans today. It's so flipping cold, but there's one thing I wanna show you guys. Oh, what's this then? It's the snow camo oi oi jersey. Now I know a number of you said you're fed up with having white in the winter. So it's a black jersey. You know the score, if you want one, just DM me on Facebook or Instagram. There will be a shop some point this year, but until then, unfortunately, it's the only way around it. Let's work our way up the hill and see who else is here. Bit of a miss to the secret spot. Let's see what we got. Oh. Yes, boys. What a cold, windy day, but so stoked to be back on this. Let's go see what else we can find. day new dollar as you guys could see we had snow we had sleet on my mate's phone app he said it was minus six wind chill i think we're all pretty over it the only good thing being is the fact the bike didn't get muddy at all because it was that dry so we've come to the local we're going to carry on the madness on my downhill bike so i'm not going to lie we're not blessed with big hills so we're just going to make the most of pushing up a couple of 30 second legendary tracks they're not the most tech but i'm sure we can still have a good time nice and fun down the lokes nice and easy trails so sick being on a downhill bike and there we go that is it that is what we're blessed with super interesting to put this bike to the test not that it's really testing on this terrain I haven't really had a chance to use these tires much this year because they are 29. Obviously my trail bike 650. You can just see the lowly sort of dirt that we've got here is almost perfect for testing them out on. So we'll hit this another time and then we'll go hit up another track. So I'm going to put you guys on the chest. Be interesting because I haven't really used the chest cam that much this year. So here we go then, dropping in. Oh mate, it's so sick. You can tell it's been a while. I forgot I've got to place the camera upside down because obviously when you're in that attack position, you just end up seeing the frame as you guys did, even though I tilted it up as much as pos. So I'm going to turn it upside down so hopefully you guys can see the trail a little more. And then finally, we'll go and hit another trail up. Camera is the other way around now. So hopefully we get to see a bit more of the trail this time. Inside with the tires. Yo, how the centre of door set on these jumps. You guys don't need to tell me it is not downhill bike territory. Enduro bikes are so capable these days. My whole reason of getting this out is it's literally done five trips out this year, or sorry, last year, purely because of the current climate.
<laughs> berms are like this, super fun as you can see. We've got a berm linking to a berm linking to a berm. Now, the main line or the lemming line, as I like to call it, is the fact the guys that get stuck in this rut get on the brakes and then almost lose their speed or stall. As you can see from my tire marks that run, we're trying to open up every turn as much as possible. Nice and high up here, which means I can get on the brake slightly before then crossing and then getting on this higher right hand ledge. The beauty we've got of this higher right hand ledge, straight away it opens up the turn, which means we can carry maximum speed. So if you have a look at my tire prints there, you know, the difference is only a few feet, but the difference with the guy already up here opposed to the guy down there, they can let off the brakes from this position and carry their speed whilst the guy down here is on the brakes and it just means they're going to stall in the turn a bit. So there, inside. See how they stall in that corner. We're just going to give this run another go because it's super, super fun. I'll put you guys on my helmet peak this time and then we'll see a few more tracks. Another run. Models to the left as you do that. Right, so corners. Open them up as much as possible. There we go, that is so sick. Quite a lot of off camera and stuff on that one as you can sort of see with the tires digging in certainly as we go across there getting on that higher line is where it's at which means you can carry your speed all the way to the other side so we've come to the other side of the woods now it's a little bit steeper which means this bike actually gets a little more use let's go to the top check out some of the track so that last trail it enabled you to keep your flow these trails, they're a little steeper, a little tighter. They probably don't look anything on GoPro, but I can assure you they're a lot steeper than they look. Let's go check them out. Oh, yo! Dropping in. Where's the track gone? It's a bit of an old school track, this one. Sorry. As you do, walking. How typical is that? You never see anyone here and then the time you drop in there's a blimmin' walker across the track. So obviously P's and Q's, you've got to watch out for them. Back onto the top, another trail. This next trail, you can just about see how tight it is. Probably isn't ideal on a 29er XL bike, but I'm sure it's going to be plenty of fun. As you can see, the amount of snow we did have is thawed out. It's so pretty slick. Luckily, these tyres are actually super cool in these conditions. Let's give it a bang. <laughs> Let's give it a go. <laughs> going down there, it's going to be steep. It's going to be tight. Let's check it out. Come on, then. So it's going to be steep. It's going to be tight. Okay, so getting in the right, looking to exit. Oh, missed that a bit. Oh, we, we saved it. We saved it. Oh, mate. And there we go. As I'm struggling to get back up here, I'd be intrigued to know what you guys prefer as well. A peak mount or a chest cam? Now let me know and I will try and do a number of videos and change them. Obviously if it's super wet, I'm going to go for a helmet cam opposed to a chest cam because the chest cam gets caked and crap pretty easily. Up to the top, another trail. Another tight track, that's obvious. So slow is fast with a track like this where it is a little tighter. Especially with the big wheels. And it is a little sloppy as well. Oh, that is tight. Oh, mate, I'm stoked with that, actually. That's quite a, quite a good run, if I do say myself. A lot of these tighter turns, as you can see, there's very little to catch here. There's just a tiny, slidey, horrible, slippy burn. You can really see the tyres doing their thing in there. So. This is all about where you do your braking. So all your braking needs to be done nice and early. So you can sort of see there's not really too much skidding going on until we hit the berm and then we're really just pushing the bike through, which hopefully on the tighter stuff should help you out. Back to the top, another go on another track. So this is the next track. It's a bit of off camber, bit of a push as you can see as well. Oh my God. A couple of exposed routes. So this is really going to test the tires out. The off camber track. 
or a bit slow to start off with. Off camera on loads of routes, real good for testing the tyres. Bit steep and out, bit slick. Yo, up into that high line round there. Oh, nearly at a tree. Oh, that is so slippery. Into the puddle and I'm muddy already. The next track we're riding, you can just about see, or maybe not so, there's a surface grease which makes for some really good fun riding. Not necessarily fast, but as you can see here, we've got quite a big rut to catch us, but it's really, really slippery. Exactly why I wanted to bring the downhill bike to actually test it. The fact the snow's all thawed out now, it's obviously a little loose, a little wet. That is one thing with downhill bikes, it certainly keeps you fit pushing them up. Deep, rutted and wet, let's have you. Oh, let's not break. Right, straight on. Oh, that is sick how, how much grip there is. So all of this, you can just sort of feel how loose it is. But we're getting the grip. Oh, maybe not there. Oh, getting dark, it's getting dingy. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. I do appreciate it hasn't been the most mental World Cup testing trails, but we've had a laugh to be back out on this. As I said, it only got used probably five times last year. So to combine this with having two days of riding, it's been super, super sick. Remember the Oi Oi snow camo jerseys are now available. So give me a DM via Facebook or Instagram and we will sort it out. There will be a proper web shop coming at some point. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. It'd be great if you give it a thumbs up. Be sick if you subscribe and I'll see you guys in a bit. Oi oi!